We are going to take a few minutes right now and draw a multi-view projection of this object right here. Now you can see that in this one, one square equals one centimeter. This is a scale drawing. Our um, work right here is uh, quarter inch, but we're going to do it anyways and just know that you know these quarter inch would represent one centimeter. If you need to know just how the finished object looks, stop this video right now and just compare yours. Uh, if you need to actually draw it, continue watching. So let's get started. I'm going to put that right there and take you step by step through doing the multi-view projection of this. And let's see, getting started, this object is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 um, units long. So starting at my origin point, right there. I am going to measure over 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And make my bottom line right there. Now this object is three units tall, but I am going to just make it two. Because right here, if you check out one, two, that's a straight line. But the third unit is actually curved. So I'm going to make this two units tall and draw a curved line right there. And then close the shape. Now when we take a look at this, there are three holes. And the holes are located on the center. They're actually located on the intersection of a line. So it the first one is two units over, one unit up, so I'm just going to make a mark. Uh, two units over, one unit up, and the other one right there. So I am going to do my best drawing the hole Now remember when you're doing a front view like this, when there's a hole, you always need to make a center mark. That is part of the drawing uh, rules that just lets everybody know that is indeed a centered up hole, even if your drawing is a little bit sloppy like mine. Okay, so now we have that labeled. From here on, I need to project and do my top view. Remember, the top view is if you are dangling from a string above this somehow. So right here, I'm just going to draw some construction lines up. And my construction lines just transfer every single feature that is in this drawing. Just like so. And I'm going to start, it has a flat face, so right here I'm going to draw my flat face right there. This object is one unit thick. Close up the shape. Now if you remember we have these three construction lines right here, and that represents the center line. I am going to erase these a bit so that I can draw some proper center lines. I know it might seem kind of silly to erase a line just to put a line in there. Center line, remember, is a long line, then a dash. And then we will have our hidden lines right there. Okay, so that's the top view of that right now. Now we have to take it here and flip it to get our right side. And the same rules. 
use construction lines. Don't have your construction lines touch. And we are going to transfer over all of the features that we're working on. Remember, it is one unit thick. So there are my sides. There's my top. There's my bottom. I want to erase my construction lines right here. And we have a center line. Remember, long line, dash, long line. And then we have our hidden lines that go right along with it. Okay, so this is exactly how this object should look in a multi-view. Um, we have to dimension this next, but I will be doing that in a different video. So stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need to get the concept.